today I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, what we're going to be doing today, also a little bit about myself and what this channel is going to be about. So a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Kayla. I currently live in California. Well, I've always lived in California. Um, I'm currently going to community college, you know, getting that education. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, I like to read. I like to write. I like to watch TV. I like to sleep. I like to nap. I like to do all those fun things. Um, what else? A little bit about me. Um, I think that's it. That's all you really need to know about me to keep watching this channel. Also. Um, a little bit about this channel. It's going to be a lot of reviews, book reviews, TV reviews, um, anything other, any other things that I feel like reviewing. Um, also, if you have any suggestions about what I should read or what I should review or things that I should watch in order to review them, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, it'll here and there, there will be a vlog if we go fun places. I'm not going to show you vlogs of me at school because I literally go class and then I do nothing and then I eat. That's all I do. Um, and that's that's basically what this channel is going to be about. A little bit about today. Um, I'm going to be telling you about the two books that I've read over the weekend since I've gotten my new book haul. Also, I'm going to uh, tell you about some books that I'm going to read and also some books that I'm currently reading. So if you're interested in hearing about those, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. Let's get started. So today I'm going to talk to you about two books that I've read and then books that I'm currently reading right now and then some books that I'm going to read next. So the first book that I read is a manga called Sherlock. It's based on the TV show. Uh, the reason I started reading it is because my cousin pointed it out to me. She knows that I love this TV show and we were in Barnes and Noble, it's my second home, and we were uh, looking for books, and she saw this, and she pointed it out to me. It's called A Sherlock, A Study in Pink. It's also written by Stephen Moffat, obviously, because it's, like, the exact same as the TV show. Um, the cover is very beautiful, you know, Benedict Cumberbatch, beautiful. Um, and then John Watson or Martin Freeman. Um, you know, it's the exact same as the TV show. It's literally the TV show just written in comic form which is really cool you know sometimes instead of watching a tv show you want to read it or vice versa um but yeah it's really cool i felt so many emotions while reading it even though i've already seen the show like four times i saw this episode a lot i watched it over and over again but even reading it it feels different than watching it people who read know all the time that the book gives you more emotions than the uh than the movie or the tv show does so yeah i really enjoyed it and i can't wait to find the rest of them yes so next on the book i just finished reading i got these i got both of these books along with others on i'm sorry i got both of these books along with other on friday or saturday i believe it was and i finished everything everything today and then I finished Sherlock the day that I got it because, you know, I'm a little bit, yeah, I'm a little bit. Um, but everything, everything, I finished it today. <sighs> okay. So many emotions while reading this book. So the book is about um, a little girl who, well, she's not little anymore. She's 18 and um, she has an immune disease that keeps her in the house. She can't go outside or else she'll die. And she ends up falling in love. Um, so it's like a coming of age story. It's a very beautiful YA novel. I loved reading it. I'm not going to tell you, you know, the ending or the spoilers or anything like that because I don't want to do that. But let's just say that it's a really good book. It has a really different ending than what you expect it to have. Um, you know, I thought it was really, I thought it would be really similar to The Fault in Our Stars, but it's not. Um, Nicola Yoon, she wrote a beautiful novel and I encourage everyone to read it if I picked it up this weekend because the uh, movie is coming out in May and I wanted to read it before the movie came out so I picked it up and it is beautiful the cover is beautiful I don't think there's anything under the cover I know it's just a plain blue book um, but the cover is beautiful 
and the book is beautiful and you're gonna feel so many emotions while reading it especially the ending so I highly encourage you to pick up this book. So these are the two books that I've read. The two books that I'm currently reading are Beauty and the Beast. Um, I believe it's the same exact Disney tale um, so far as reading it. I think it's the same exact one. Obviously I'm reading this one. The Beauty and the Beast movie is coming out. We're going to catch up a little bit. Um, it's very beautiful. It's a paperback book. It has the rose on the top and it's the theme from the movie or it's the picture from the movie. It's a very beautiful cover. So far it's really interesting. Um, it's just like the movie so you know it's kind of just a refresher if you haven't seen the uh, cartoon version of Beauty and the Beast and it will be refreshing to be able to watch the live action version afterwards. Um, another book that I'm currently reading is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. So I got this book in the seventh grade. I took it from a friend who was reading it. Um, and then while I was like halfway through the book, my friend stole it from me, so I never got to finish it. And then I heard that Selena Gomez was producing the Netflix TV show, and I was like, oh, 13 Reasons Why. I read half of that book, so um, I need to finish it so I can watch the show. But yeah, it's um, it's a book about um, a girl, she commits suicide, and she leaves tapes to everyone that she says was the cause of her suicide. So I'm really excited to finish this book. I'm starting over off for obvious reasons, because it was in the seventh grade, and now I'm a freshman in college, so you know, I kind of need to refresh. Um, this is the 10th anniversary edition, so I'm kind of thankful that she took that book from me, so now I get to have the 10th anniversary, the anniversary edition of the book. But I'm really excited to finish reading it. Um, it's written by Jay Asher. Um, and I guess this one has deleted scenes from the original. So I get to, you know, read the things that he took out of the first book. So I'm excited about that. And you will for surely know when I'm done reading this. And I will give a review on it. So moving on to books that I'm going to read after I'm done with 13 Reasons Why and Beauty and the Beast. So, let's see. We have The Alchemist, uh, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel by Michael Scott. I've always been kind of interested in the story of Nicholas Flamel. Um, I don't know. I just think it's really interesting. So I'll just read you uh, The Legend of Nicholas Flamel off the bat. Nicholas Flamel lives. The secret of eternal life is hidden within the book he recites, the book of Abraham, the mage. It's the most powerful book that has ever existed, and in the long term, he will destroy the world. So, you know, obviously, sounds really interesting. There's a whole series of it. I'm really behind. I wanted to read these a while ago, but I never got to it. Um, they're written by Michael Scott. There's a really pretty cover. So yeah, I'm excited to start reading this, and hopefully I'll be interested enough to finish the rest of them, which would be amazing. Yes, so The Alchemist, also one I'm getting ready to read. Another one is um, Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. I picked this one up because, oh sorry, you can see it. Okay, I picked this up because she wrote um, the Divergent series, and I loved that series, and so I was really... I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Um, so, yeah, I'm really interested in reading this one. I'm. It says that Carve the Mark is Veronica Roth's stunning portrayal of the get power of friendship and love in a galaxy filled with unexpected gifts. So I love reading stories about, like, space and, like, um, love stories. I'm... All I really read right now is YA novels. I'm really hoping to move out of that section eventually. But right now, it's like love is my life right now. So I'm really interested to start reading this book by Veronica Roth. I really enjoyed her other series, and I'm hoping that this one is just as good as the first two. Um, another book that I am getting ready to read is Starfall by Melissa Landers. Um, I believe this one is the one where she's a princess and she's a space princess and you know she's trying to escape an arranged marriage um, and I thought that was really interesting I love stories about space as I just previously mentioned they're just so fun um, 
I don't know. And it's kind of like, it would kind of be like a Star Wars type thing. And I'm really excited to start using that. And then here, this gigantic beast here is Illuminate, the Illuminate Files. I am so excited to read this one. I wanted to read it so long ago. And I never got it. And they just came out with the second one. I don't know if they just came out with it. Or I don't know if it came out a couple months ago. I don't know. But I do know that I'm excited to read it, and, you know, at first I was just excited to read it because I heard about it, and I was like, oh, it's a good book, and I was like, oh, I can't wait. But then I picked up the book, right? Wait for this. I picked up the book, and I took off the cover. I took off the cover. Okay? Look at this. This is the coolest thing ever, Okay? Inside the actual book, I just, you know, scan through it, you know, see what's going on. They actually black out words, like it's actual files. Coolest thing I have seen in, like, forever, okay? I'm so excited to read this book, and I can't wait to read it and tell you all about it. It's written by uh, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, um, so... I believe it's going to be a trilogy. I'm not positive yet, but I'm really excited to read this one and then hopefully go on to read the second one, which is very cool. So those are the books that I'm going to read next. Um, a couple things that I also picked up were um, Hans, Ender Hans Christian Andersen's A Complete Fairy Tale. Um, I, love, I love fairy tales, so obviously I wanted to get this book. And I believe he's also the one who wrote The Snow Princess, um, which Frozen was based off of. So, you know, I like fairy tales, and I like Hans Christian Andersen, and I love books like this, because I like vintage and cool. So, I got that. Also, I got um, Sherlock Holmes. I got that written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I don't know why I looked at that, too. Know who was written by obviously know who was written by but like i said i love the sherlock show i love the sherlock story i love hearing about him so i also got this book um to you know have it in my collection also i got my favorite book ever as a child this was charlotte's web i got the big version by eb weiss i loved this book as a kid i read it so many times it's like one of my favorite books of all time. It's a beautiful story. It's amazing. And I'm really excited to add it to my collection. Um, another one that I want to get that's just like this is E.B. White's Stuart Little. It looks exactly like this. And it was really cheap, actually. Um, where I got it, it was only like five something $5, I think. And it's wonderful to just get this book. Because I don't have it in my collection anymore. I don't know what happened to it. Um, it might have got lost when I moved. I don't know. But I'm excited to have it back in my collection. And the last thing I got was a little Harry Potter journal. Of course, I read, so of course I'm a fan of Harry Potter. And I got a little journal, you know, to write down everything. It's Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. I have taken the test. Um, I thought I was going to be a Hufflepuff, but it turned out I was a Gryffindor. So, I, it's very beautiful. The insides is wonderful. So this is the thing, the gold, right? And then you just open it up inside. It has like this cool paper. It's really cool. So, yes. This is my video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you will like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And to hear more from me in the future. Um, next video that I post should be a vlog. Yes, so I hope you like and subscribe so you can see that video next. Thank you for watching.